Hello, my brothers and sisters. I just want to welcome you to this word that God has given me to share uh, with you all today. And I really hope that it blesses you. And uh, it's from uh, the Canadian Hammer, uh, which is uh, Barry Wunsch. And he is uh, a Canadian and he lives in Red Deer, Alberta. And he has a word for uh, Canada and the U.S. And I will share that because these are not my words. These are Barry's, wor Barry's words. And so I really hoped that uh, this word blesses you today. And uh, he says, uh, it's a prophetic word that is re the Federal Reserve justice is upon us. And this is from January the 18th, 2023. Perfectly, uh, respectfully submitted Barry Wunsch, the Canadian hammer. This morning, as I went about my day, I kept hearing the word Federal Reserve. I must have heard it a half a dozen times. As I pulled aside and began to pray, I was immediately taken by the Spirit into the United States Federal Reserve. There was in it, I saw in the Federal Reserve a uh, server room. There I was in the Federal Reserve server room. I it was bright, very well lit, and had rows of racking and servers humming along. I watched as the team of highly specialized techs worked behind the, the servers. I could see them, but they were mostly transparent. I knew that they each were connected into the system, some on the inside and more from the outside, but all were working on the same project. They were tracing and identifying connections from other nations, banks, stock exchanges, and Wall Street. They were preparing to cut each one, each line off from this old server for a new system was very soon to be fired up. These Federal Reserve servers were at maximum capacity and were not going to last much longer. The system was in trouble and on the verge of a fatal crash. This system was diligently working behind the scenes, this team, and was tracing each line, each connection into the system and preparing for the change over. This system was outdated, had served its purpose for a time, but was now done. This, there was a new system ready to go to replace the old server. It was a quantum system, like nothing ever seen before, years, in development and ready to roll out. It was smaller, more compact, and lightly speeding faster than anything before. I saw a case open up and the inside core looked like the most perfect diamond, crystal clear and bright. It reflected the redilated light in a way I had never seen. The light bursted out of, it was as bright as the sun. There was something very new and different about the technology that this was the future. I was then taken out of the server room and down a hallway to an elevator, which went up. The elevator's doors opened into a hallway with offices running down both sides. As I walked down the hallway, things were running hot. Conversations were loud, passionate and animated. The Federal Reserve had been in trouble before, but never this bad. Agents were pleading with those they were talking to, trying to hold it together with all they had. The men and women working phones in a state of panic. It had suddenly gotten real. This was not like anything that they had faced before. They were negotiating here and there with banks, Wall Street, stock exchanges in the U.S. and abroad, trying to hold things together, but this time it was different. There was a room full of agents working on the phone, speaking foreign languages, explaining things, and negotiating as hard as they could to other nations and governments. Foreign investors and stockholders trying to navigate the storm and what was happening. As I continued down the hallway, 
There were agents dealing with government agencies, going through realms of reports, searching for ways to place places to cut because there just wasn't enough to go around. Things were as they were. Others being prepped for next steps when it comes down to how to deal with the fallout. A little further down the hall was another meeting room and there was a group of political leaders being briefed as they, to what was on the verge of happening and what the potential ramifications were going to be. The room was very somber. The emotions and tensions were running high. It was a powder keg ready to blow. Another room had a team plotting how it could spend the, this cash in a way to blow, blame Trump and the Republicans when it was clear in their briefing discussions, the Democrats themselves were to blame and they knew it. They had to try to spin it because they would not be able to hide it any longer. Everything was going to be exposed. This was set of low locked security glass doors at the end of the hallway where there was a group of journalists standing with cameras and microphones that had prepared to attack with questions. This was going to be historic, major breaking news. Holy Spirit then spoke clearly to me. Barry, tell my people it is time for the takedown. It is time for the wealth transfer to be released. It is time to pull the plug on the most corrupt system of all and those who think they control it. They have raped and pillaged my people for far too long. They have held my people in slavery and the day is upon them for freedom. Watch as it is dismantled, this system that has held my people in bondage. What I have started cannot be stopped. It is time to remove those who have controlled the purse strings. It is time to take back the purse. Never again shall it be there in their hands. For all that was gained through unrighteousness must shall and be returned a hundredfold to my people. I will see to it just as is served. And slave masters shall be apprehended and brought to justice. This should really encourage you. Brought to justice and served and uh, slave masters shall be apprehended and brought to justice. The roundup is about to begin. They will turn on one another, left, right, and center to try and save themselves. But in the end, justice will be served to all. Watch as I pull the clinch pin they have held and protected at all costs. They are about to lose all control. I am taking it out of their hands and I will be there today. It will be there today and gone tomorrow. The day they have dreaded is upon them. Barry, tell my people, do not fear. Do not be afraid. For even though it may look or appear like the end is near, a new day is dawning. Draw together and draw unto me, for as you remain in me, I will meet your every need. Holy is the word of the Lord. Hold the line. God bless and protect you and your families. God bless and protect Israel. God bless and protect the United States of America, the beautiful. God bless Canada, the true, nor strong and free. Thank you from the bottom of our heart for your prayers and love and support. May God richly bless you all. Barry Wunsch. And like I said, Barry Wunsch lives in Deer Park in uh, Alberta, Canada. This is the thing that I wanted to share too. I did a, I, I did a video on this, uh, I don't know whether it was a month ago or maybe two months now. I had a dream about this very thing happening where God showed me that there was going to be a power outage. And I'd say the power outage really represented, power was going to change hands because the rich people in the dream that I had, they could no longer get 
to the things that they held back and held over other people. So I really hope that this really blesses you today. Because when I when I read this from Barry Wunsch, like he's a pastor in Alberta. This was very encouraging because people need to hear this, that God has not forgotten you. You know, he loves you like he wants to uh, prosper you. But, but it's because it's like the great exit of years ago you know, back in, in the Bible, uh, of uh, the tax masters where they had enslaved the people. It has been happening in government worldwide for too, too long, far too long, too many years. But now God himself is changing everything in the world. So really be expecting because this is something that will happen. We just need to see a lot of times these things in the government, it will just crash and it, it, things are going to be different. Just be encouraged. God bless you and have a wonderful day. And subscribe to this channel if you want to hear more. God's always updating things that he's doing in the world. Thank you.